gentlemen on the Les Miserables tour of 1998 wear knee pads. If I could offer you one tip for this tour, knee pads would be it. The long-term benefits of wearing knee pads has been proven by all Les Mis companies before us, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your abilities. Never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your abilities until they are gone. But trust me, in 20 years' time, you'll look back on old program photos and see in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and just how fabulous you really were. You are not as visible as you imagine. Some of your best work is completely in the dark. Don't goof around during other people's solos. Don't put up with people who goof around during yours. Brush your teeth before intimate scenes. Every now and then sing a different harmony just for the hell of it. Don't waste time with jealousy. Sometimes you get good plots, sometimes you don't. The show is long, you'll get your bit. Anyhow, in 10 years time, no one will remember or care. Remember compliments, forget insults, unless they're from the director. Stretch. Don't worry if you don't understand the story. Even though they said they did, most people did not finish the novel. If you're asked to work on the barricade, be careful. If you're asked to play Ozerov, enjoy your knees now. Do not be a swing. Understudies. Maybe you'll go on, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll be better than the act you cover. Maybe you'll retire a bitter and twisted person. Should you ever go on, don't congratulate yourself too much. But don't berate yourself either. Always remember, the audience paid a lot of money to see someone else. Learn one sentence of French. That way, if you ever run out of ad libs, you can deliver something French, thus impressing everyone. Do not ask favors of wardrobe on matinee day. Whenever possible, kiss up to the resident director. Be sure to use the bathroom before the barricade scene. If you have a flatulence problem, consider others during crowd scenes and quiet moments. Drink plenty of water. Be nice to your dresser. Dresses are people underpaid to handle actors' dirty laundry. Do not read reviews. Critics are people overpaid to criticize. Unless, of course, they say something good about you. In that case, cut it out, blow it up, and stick it on the notice board, highlighting the bit about you. <laughs> Important artists. You never know when they'll be gone for good, and you may need international accommodation someday. Don't burn bridges with anyone. One of your peers could go on to be an employer. Understand that musical theater performers come and go, but for the masochistic few who seem to turn up in everything. Be social club president once, but resign before everyone starts using you. Be equity debt once, but resign before everyone stops using you. 
Accept certain inalienable truths. Actors will go up. Ticket sales will go down. Your hair will grow long. You too will get older, and when you do, you will fantasize that actors behave professionally. Houses were full. Everyone looked great with long hair, and people respected principles. Respect your principles. Don't mess too much with your hair, no matter what you do. It only looked good in the 80s. So, good luck on the tour. I hope I have been of some help to you all. However, as history has shown us, regardless of my advice, by the end of the tour, you will not have saved as much money as you had expected. The industry will have long forgotten you, and your only friend will be your therapist. But trust me, on the knee pads. <laughs>